Harley, uh, really difficult afternoon today. Yeah, um, another loss. Um, another avoidable one, individual areas and, and no goal, so yeah. We speak about fine margins all the time and uh, the way the game went and the way it played out in the end with the goals that we did concede, a couple of mistakes again, as frustrating as, as ever before. Yeah, um, especially first half because I thought we was a better team. We had chances, we bit the post twice, been a threat for some set pieces um, and then they score out of nothing. But that's just we've got to be better uh, individually and collectively and um, we're all looking at ourselves. I'm looking at myself in the mirror and we just got to go again and work harder and, and, and just try and be better really. Um, we're in a bad situation and uh, we know it's not good enough and if, if I could stand here and say that it's a bad group of lads who are not working hard, who are not trying their best, I honestly would, but it's not like that. Um, we're trying that, we're working day in, day out as hard as we can and um, we're stepping onto the pitch and, and we're putting it out there, but it's just, it's just not going for us. Um, so maybe we're not good enough, maybe that is the fact, the reality. Um, but I believe we are, I believe individually and collective we are. And we've got 10 games to turn it around. Is that why it's so frustrating? Because it's, it's blatantly ev evident that the, the players in that dressing room have quality and there are people there with experience, there are, there are young lads in there. On the face of it, the balance seems spot on. And like you said, they're a good group, but just so frustrating to come out here and, and have to do this time and time again. Yeah, it is frustrating. Um, but the captains have got a front up and that is what it is. Um, I'm trying to be the best player I can be, the best captain I can be. Maybe I'm not maybe I'm not good enough as a captain, maybe I'm not good enough as a player, but my passion and desire and work rate will never I'll never let anyone question that. Um and I think that's can go for the majority of the lads. Um all we can do is to go to the next game, try and be better, um and try and get a result because we need them. We've got 10 games, we've got to get some wins. Ready next up on Wednesday. No easy game in the championship, but that certainly isn't one. No, of course not. Um, but we beat them away. We beat Bristol City away. But it's irrelevant it's if you turn up on the day. But it's fine margins. I mean, we should have been 2-0 up. Two inches to the left, we've got, we've got two goals. And um, Ever said one inch and he saves it. One inch, it goes wide. So you go in 2-0 at half-time and, and it's a completely different story. But it's just the way it is. How many times do you see a ball go back and the keeper clear it and it goes out for a throw-in? It's gone in the top corner. <sighs> well, nothing you can do. You can't explain it. Um, we're making individual errors and um, we're not scoring goals and that's a bad recipe at the minute so maybe we've just got to strip it back to basics and, and just be an horrible team. Ten games, ten cup finals. Is everyone aware that that's the case now, do you think? We was aware weeks and weeks ago when we should, before the Sheffield Wednesday game. We, we're aware. We're aware where we are. We're aware of what we are and where we need to be and um, we're trying. Like, we're leaving it all out on the training pitch. We're coming to games and doing what we can. Um, it's just so frustrating.